is the Spro Megalodon better than the Mega Bass Magdraft? That's what we're going to find out right now in this Versus. First and foremost, thanks for taking the time to watch this video. I really do appreciate it. If you're not a subscriber, click that subscribe button and that like button. But right now, we're going to look at the Spro Megalodon versus the Mega, Dra Mega Bass Mag Draft. You guys asked for this video, wanted me to compare them. So that's what we're going to do right now. So we're going to look at a few things and give a rating from 1 to 10. What I need you to do is, after the video, at the end, comment which one you think is the better bait. What's the better bass fishing bait? Is it the Mag Draft? Is it the, the Megalodon? They're both big, giant swim baits, soft plastic swim baits, and both have uh, some characteristics that are the same, but you're going to see, as it goes, this video goes on, the action and a lot of other things are drastically different. Both baits are soft plastics. They both are six inches. The Megalodon is one and three quarter ounces and the Mega Bass is one and a quarter ounce. So the categories after this are gonna be color. They're gonna be price. They're gonna be action. They're gonna be durability. And we'll throw in the components too because even though they both use a number two black nickel hook, there are drastic differences in the components. So our first category is gonna be color. Now, first things first. I bought the Megalodon so that it would show up good in the water, but looking at the paint job, it just isn't as good as this. The Mega Bass one is drastically better. I mean, there's, it's just so much better, it's not even funny. The Megalodon comes in eight colors. The Mega Bass Mag Draft comes in 14 colors. So in terms of scoring it, I'm gonna give the, uh, the Spro a eight. And I'm going to give the Mag Draft a 10. The next category is price. There's $2 difference between them. When you look at the overall bait and the quality of the bait, they are, what's $2? Let's be honest. What's $2? But I do understand there's a lot of people that don't want to spend extra money. The Spro is $12.99 right now on, on Tackle Warehouse. The Mag Draft is $14.99. So if we have to go with what is just on price, on a one to 10, we'll give Spro a 10 and we'll give the Mag Draft a nine. Now components, in components we're gonna talk about the hook, the eyes, the durability, the magnet, the whole gamut of what makes you buy a bait because when you see it in a online or you see it in the store, your first reaction to what the bait looks like is if you're gonna buy it. If we look at the Mag Draft, which is a little bit softer plastic, they do use good treble hook, good components. Where I see the biggest differences is the eye and how that bait looks. If when I compare this to this and you have the 3D eye, a little bit better quality components on it, same black nickel hook, and it is a little bit denser plastic, which is gonna be a point when we get into action. I'll be honest, I think this is probably a seven and I think this is probably a 10 again. Now durability is a big issue for everyone. We don't wanna buy a 13, $14 lure and then after four or five casts or four or five bites that it just is gone. I will say on the Spro, this is a softer plastic and it sinks differently in the water. It sinks and that tail starts kicking. You'll notice the biggest thing about this for durability is that tail really has a lot of movement. You'll notice that in the action too. Whereas the mag draft is a little bit firmer, kind of wants to stay in that upper water column, does not float down really fast. So in terms of durability, I'm gonna give them both a nine because I think they're both really good. While this is a little bit softer, I don't think it's gonna break. It's a thick, hard, dense kind of plastic and they both are, should wear, you should get a lot of fish off each one. Now I believe the looks are the first thing that are really drastic, but the next thing is the action. Like I said, this bait gets to the bottom of the water column a little bit faster than the mag draft. It does. This one wants to stay in that upper water column. If you let it, if you cast it and let it sit, it slowly falls. It almost wants to work like a suspending bait. 
but it does die. It does dive. When I put both these in the pool, I will be honest. As this one falls, the tail kind of does a little bit of this, just a little bit. Whereas the mag draft falls and doesn't really turn as much. It wants to kick a little bit, but it kind of just glides down till it gets to that water column that you want. The action is drastically different. It's drastically different. This one, while I loved, kind of wanted to float on its side a little bit and have a tighter wobble, a tighter body wobble, but really good kick in the back. Where the Spro wanted to have a, a much wider wobble as it came towards you, and the kicking tail is just everywhere. The tails are both pretty much out, are, most, are pretty much the same size. But because this is a softer plastic in the Spro, it gives that bait a little bit more action. I had to check to see if I was bleeding. So it gives it a little bit more action. While I don't like the looks of this bait, and if you notice really the thing is, is see how much wider this bait is compared to that mag draft? There's a much wider base for it. I'm going to be honest. I actually prefer the action of the Spro over the mag draft, and it's just personal preference. I like a, bot, a, a, a more aggressive body roll, and that tail is just kicking nonstop. I'm not saying this is bad at all because this is really actually exceptional but this is a tighter wobble and the tail still kicks really well so in terms of one to tens for the mag draft i'm going to give this an eight i'm going to give the spro a 10 because i really do think the action is that much better so now here's where you come in i want to know what you think which one is the better bait which is the better soft plastic swim bait again they're both six inches they weigh a little bit different, but they have, they're in the same kind of category. And like I said, y'all wanted these videos, this video. So I went out and got a mag draft because I didn't own one. And I'm really pleasantly surprised on how it's a really fantastic bait, but it's mega bass. I mean, do they make any bad baits? So here's what I need you to do. Comment below and tell me which one you would prefer. Does price have a big influence on it? $12.99 to $14.99. Are you buying more than one? Which one do you like the color better? Which one do you like the action better? That's what the comments are for. So comment below. Thanks for hitting that like and subscribe button. I really do appreciate you guys watching this video. Remember, take a kid fishing, get your fish on. I'll talk to you soon. This is the fourth time I've recorded this whole thing. Cheers.